Yes, guys, we finally did it. What's up, everybody? My name is Todd, and welcome to my kitchen. So Mountain Dew and Doritos. We've seen it done before. We've seen cupcakes. We've seen cheesecakes. Heck, we've even seen some guy put them in a blender. But today, we have cracked the code and discovered the ultimate gamer dessert. Dorito crusted Mountain Dew pie. If you're on TikTok, you have probably seen the dude who makes a pie with a can of Sprite, some sugar, and vanilla. It's a little strange, but I had an idea. What if instead of Sprite, we used Mountain Dew? And what if instead of just a regular store-bought crust, we made our own extremely flaky crust with some Doritos and cheddar cheese? Today, I present to you the ultimate gamer dessert. Here's what you got to do. The first thing you want to make that cheesy, flaky Doritos pie crust are two very cold sticks of butter, like real cold. I just got these two sticks out of the freezer and you want to cube them up into about half inch size cubes. These little pockets of frozen cold butter release steam as they bake, which will give you the flakiest of crust. So cube that butter up, the smaller the better. You just don't want to throw in some huge chunks. After you've got your butter cubed, let it sit in the freezer while you prepare the next step, the Dorito flour mix. Into the bowl of a food processor, add a handful of Doritos and pulse them into a fine flour, if you want to call it that. But um, yeah, pulse it into a fine flour and go ahead and put those aside in a bowl so we can measure out what we need later. Now back into the bowl, you're gonna add most of your flour, try to measure out about a cup. And we didn't have much Doritos, so just go ahead and add in the rest, about half a cup. We'll be good. Uh, add in some cheddar cheese if you're up for some extra cheesiness. Give that a quick mix, a few pulses will do. Uh, until it turns into kind of like a sandy texture. Go ahead and grab that butter out of the freezer and add that in around your food processor. Now you can do this by hand, but using the food processor makes it go a lot quicker and just a lot easier in general. So mix that up. You want small clumps of butter. Go ahead and add back in some extra flour just to mix that in as well. We reserved a little bit that we could use on the countertop um, so it didn't stick to the counter. But mix this up until the Doritos and cheddar are incorporated. Transfer this dough to a medium bowl where we'll mix in some ice cold water. I added some orange food coloring to hopefully make it more um, Dorito-esque. But you start with four tablespoons, mashing it together um, with your hands, with a rubber spatula, with a fork, whichever one you prefer. I prefer just to get my hands in there, get a little messy. Give it a quick pinch. Uh, if it crumbles apart, it is not ready. It'll eventually form into a dough, which is when you want to transfer that onto a floured uh, countertop or table. And knead it just a little bit with your hands. Now, don't over knead because then you will lose some of your flaky texture. Cut your log of dough into about an 80-20 difference. The larger part will be used for the bottom crust and the other part will be used for any decorations you want to use on top. Wrap those in saran wrap where you will then put them in the fridge for at least an hour overnight is best to get uh, extra flaky crust, but at least an hour in the fridge will do you fine. I think we ended up doing like an hour and 10 minutes and it was plenty of time for us. All right, your time is up. Go ahead and flour your surface again. Get out your larger piece of dough and let it rest on the countertop for about five minutes before you mess with it. But we're gonna roll that out into a um, circle about an inch larger than your pie tin. Go ahead and grab your pie pan and flip it upside down to see uh, how your size is. Mine's looking pretty good, so I'm just gonna cut off some of the extra dough on the outside. This is a good tip, but uh, to get it in the pie pan, go ahead and roll that halfway onto a roller and with the help of your wife who can move that pie pan in frame, 
Uh, just roll that over and you should place it pretty well. Not perfect, but that's okay. Now, if you want to, you can try to crimp the edges. Uh, this is not something I would normally do, but I tried. As you'll see later, it did not turn out uh, that great with the edges, but go ahead and place aluminum foil on the outside, making sure you cover the edges well, and place some dry beans or dry rice in there for some pie weight to hold that down as we bake it in the oven in just a second. Go ahead and do the same process with your smaller disc, and cut out any shape you so desire. As an ode to one of my favorite video games, The Legend of Zelda, specifically Ocarina of Time, I decided to make the Triforce. Where this will just set on top of the pie, we will bake it separately on a piece of parchment paper on a pan. Right. We have preheated our oven to 425 degrees. We will bake these for about 20 to 30 minutes. Go ahead and get those out. Remove the aluminum foil and with a mixture of one egg and about a tablespoon of water, make an egg wash and rub that on your crust and put that in the oven for just about five minutes until that dries up. Now that your crust has cooled, you can begin making the Mountain Dew filling. Take 12 ounces of Mountain Dew. This was a 16 ounce bottle, so we used pretty much all of it. Now here's where we'll add our sugar and flour mixture. It is one cup of sugar with four tablespoons of flour mixed together. However, uh, as you can see, I made a huge mistake. It's a lot. It said four cups of sugar. Four cups? Yeah. But that's okay, people mess up all the time and mistakes are okay. Now we'll add in two teaspoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons of vanilla. Now remember, we're not mixing this at all. We are just setting it how it is. Get a vegetable peeler and peel some cold butter and add that around evenly across the pie. Wrap it in aluminum foil. One of the tricks I've learned is to make an X shape in the middle of your aluminum foil and then roll it back. That's an easy way to cover the edges so the crust does not burn. This will be placed in an oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. Then go ahead and reduce that heat to 375 and cook it for another 30 minutes. Set it out on your counter to chill and you will be good to go. It is the Dorito crusted Mountain Dew pie. The time has finally come. Jesslyn, are you excited? Nervous, I think is the word. Yeah, so do you like Doritos? Love them. Do you like Mountain Dew? Yeah. I have got to say, one of my favorite memories from growing up, that's an exaggeration, was when I was a kid, I ate so many Doritos, I ate them until my lips literally bled. <laughs> and to this day, I do not regret that decision. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, are you ready for this? I guess so. Here we go. We'll cut us off a slice here. Actually, let's move this around. All right. Cut off this. Do you know what that uh, symbol is? Yeah, from Zelda. What's it called? Any idea? The Triforce. Wow, very good. The Triforce. Okay, I think we got us a slice. Let's we'll see if it. The crust is thick. The crust is thick. It's very, very cheesy. Let's cut this off a little bit. I feel like I would like the crust by itself and the filling by itself, but together I'm not sure about. 
Well, we it, haven't you know? even tried it, so. But I understand. We did actually try this crust on its own, and. Like a little piece fell off. It was incredible. All right, we got our two slices. Let's let's show them what we got. We got our two slices. They look pretty good. Here's your fork. Ooh. I I don't know how to prepare myself. Is it going to be like a chip taste, like Doritos taste, or is it going to be like overwhelming? sweet I don't know I truly have no idea I also have to tell you I accidentally put four cups of sugar in it instead of one cup okay so it's probably gonna be overwhelmingly sweet yes okay all right ready uh. <laughs> this is a big bite <laughs> go okay it's good. Yeah, I'm not mad about that at all. It's good. Let me try. Let me try this little piece. I want to try one of these little cheese. Try forces? Yeah. Okay. It's... The filling is, like, really, really good, actually. The feeling or the filling? <laughs> the feeling that I get from the filling is very good. It's not overwhelmingly cheesy either. I don't even regret putting four cups of sugar in it. No. I think that makes it better. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. I would highly recommend this. I, what would you rate it out of 10? Like a six. A six? Yeah. I would I'd probably give it like a seven or an eight. I was expecting like a one. Well, guys, thanks again for watching. If you liked what you saw, the recipe is going to be down in the description below so you guys can try it out on your own. I would highly recommend it. Um, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe. We'll have more videos coming out soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>